The city of Montreal is Canada's oldest big city and was founded in 1642 by the French. Since the 1800s, as it has grown into a large metropolis, Montreal has also become a hotbed of sports activity. Sports have played a major role in the city's history. Home to the Formula One Canadian Grand Prix since 1978, the city hosted the Summer Olympic Games of 1976. Montreal is home to the oldest rugby club, golf club, curling club, and active sports club in North America, and is also home to both the world's oldest lacrosse team, and hockey team. Montreal's famous McGill University is partly responsible for this, and the school has played a vital role in the invention of three of the biggest sports in North America. Thank you, Canada, for giving us hockey, basketball, and thank you for football. What? No way. Yeah, look it up. On the air live from the cradle of organized sport, Montreal, Quebec. I've always said Montreal is the cradle of organized sport. Laurent Duvernay Tardif sold the talk around Montreal because he's playing in the Super Bowl for the KC Chiefs, and you just saw Kim St. Pierre is from uh, McGill. So I want to say to McGill, this is the cradle of organized sport. Uh, James Creighton created the rules for the game in 1875 that begat hockey. Uh, we can thank uh, Mr. Naismith for basketball, and uh, he was a McGill grad. And uh, finally, the first ever football game, I don't know if you realize, but in 1874, it was McGill versus Harvard down in Cambridge. First ever football game. So that's basketball, hockey, and football all the way itself this part of the world. Sweetie, you could still go to McGill, the Harvard of Canada. Hey, uh, we're going to watch Super Bowl 13 later. Want to pull up a chair? Oh, thanks, but you know, I prefer the fast-paced Canadian three-down system. I mean, American football is a real snoozer, huh? And so, touchdown! The Montreal Alouettes had to beat the best regular season team in the East. They did. They had to beat the best of the West. They are flying above the league for the first time in 13 years. The Elves are the 2023 Grey Cup champions. Here's the touch. Here's the touch. It's got the goal. Absolutely incredible. Andrew Porter. Montreal in front. Through the center zone for Montreal, Dano sneaks in, the pass across, they score! For the first time in 28 years, the Montreal Canadiens are on their way to the Stanley Cup Final! Here comes Montreal over the line, in front they go, they score! To the finals they go! Oh, Montreal scores! Gallagher, Dano, oh, I love you! The Montreal Canadiens, they do it! I can't f***ing believe it! And the Canadiens s'en vont en finale de la Coupe Stanley. SD de Tabernak. How fans, they got to be crying. The province of Quebec is on fire tonight. Let's go! Everybody knows that the Montreal Canadiens have won 24 Stanley Cups, and if you didn't know that, well, chances are some drunk Habs fan has bothered you about it in a bar somewhere. What team has won the most Stanley Cup championships? Montreal Canadiens. Swish, baby. This game is too easy. They've had a glorious history, and they've won 24 Stanley Cups. In Lord of the Rings, you know, I wore the old beat-up white classic Montreal Canadiens t-shirt. I would wear that under the Aragorn clothes. It gave me a, just a little more power with the sword, I think. For the fourth consecutive time... The Canadians are great at parades. I mean, you know, you get good when you do it all the time. <laughs> so the second winning is franchise in sports history. Look at us. I think only the Yankees beat us. Oh, my God! Holy, Holy shit! It is a city where one game, one team, one set of heroes stand apart from all others. Because for generations of us in Montreal, hockey hasn't been just a sport. It's been a way of life. The Canadiens haven't just been a franchise, but a symbol of what excellence can look like. And names like Rocket Richard, Jean Bellevaux, Guy Lafleur, 
haven't just been stars, but icons forever ingrained in history. Yet there was once a time when there were others, names people knew. The Grand Orange, the Kid, the Hawk, the Rock, and Pedro. Men who didn't wield sticks and pucks, but bats and balls. Members of another team that captured the heart of the city in unforgettable ways. The Expos are still alive in Montreal. You just have to look a little harder to find them. The Canadians were les glorieux, the glorious. The Expos were nos amours, our loves. <laughs>